first thing we're going to do is show you how to log into Planning Center. So in your web browser, simply go to planning.center and hit enter, and that will bring you into the landing page of Planning Center. In the top right hand corner, you hit log in. And then here you're going to fill in the email address that your account has been registered with and your password. So you may already know this or you will have received um, a link in your email to log you into Planning Center for the first time. If you ever lose your uh, password or not sure of your login, just let your team leader know and that can be reset. So go ahead and hit login. For this, we're going to be using our production test account. And the first thing it will do is land onto your dashboard page, which will look slightly different for everyone depending on what type of user you are. And then this gives you an overview of all the different aspects of Planning Center. But for this tutorial, we're going to head into the services area. So if you hit in the top left, if you hit home, and then go down to services. This will land you in the main hub uh, of where you will find information for Sunday meetings, who's serving, and what's happening in the meeting. Okay, the first aspect here we're going to look at is your schedule and um, any uh, serving invites. So uh, to navigate to this bit, uh, on your toolbar across the top, you've got my schedule, which is the page we're on here. And this will give us a snapshot of any pending uh, serving requests we may have. So you may have been alerted to these via email or um, via the app if you're using the services app. But in this, we're going to look at how we deal with them if we're on the website. So this particular volunteer uh, has three pending serving requests. So it tells you what date it is, so it's 30th of January, uh, what meeting it's part of, so this is the online meeting, and what the role is. And then you just go through and accept or decline them. So what we're going to do is we accept these first two, one and two. That will uh, give an alert to your team leaders, let you, let you know you've accepted them. And now they've moved into this bottom confirmed section. But let's say you do need to decline one. Simply hit decline and then pop a reason in and that will be sent to your team leader. But do remember, if you do need to recline any serving requests, it is on you to uh, actively look to find a volunteer to cover you. So by all means, fill out that um, and then connect with your team leader separately to make a plan for finding some cover. Okay, next feature we're going to look at is blocking out dates. So this is a way if you know you've got some holiday coming up later in the year or a period where you know you're not going to be around, you can uh, input this into Planning Center in advance. So if you hit block out dates, there's a few options here. You, If you know it's just certain Sundays, you could navigate further down the year and select them individually. But if you want to block out um, a more extensive period or you want to block out the whole week as well, uh, you can select the first date, so let's go to the start of March. And then over here you can add some details. So what you can do is then extend that through. So if you know you're going on a two week holiday at the start of March, you can then select an end date there, which then blocks out that whole period. Um, no matter which way you do it, you then have got a couple more options. So you can choose to repeat it if you want. Uh, but also you can just tap, tap, tap a reason in, so if there is a reason that's worth your team leader knowing, you can just pop it in there. Uh, maybe you're going on some sort of maternity leave or you know you're going away for some extended time for work. Uh, you could fill the reason in there just so um, they know uh, where you are. But again, as we said before, just remember uh, any Sundays you are blocking out um, and that you would usually be serving on, it is still your duty to work with your team leader to uh, speak to the rest of the team and organize some swaps. Once you have filled all that in, you can just hit save one block out and then you cannot be scheduled on any further meetings during those periods that you've blocked out. Now working across, you've now got this My Messages section. So this is where um, you can access any messages that have been sent uh, within Planning Center. You will also get these via email, which is usually how most people would access them. But if you need to find something of old, it will be listed in this Received section. Now with this account, there isn't anything listed at the moment. There's just this one email here about being requested to serve, uh, which you can scan there. And also Action, uh, we'll just close that. Uh, you can also view any sent messages you've seen 
um, over on the right hand side here or edit your email signature for when you're sending a message from within the planning center. Then the last thing to note on this page is this final button which is email my leader. So if you want to do that within planning center you just simply hit it and then depending on the type of account you've got or how many team leaders you are assigned to on this drop down you might have one or several names so you can select one or multiple and then in the box hit your subject and then your contents and then hit send and that will send it directly to them. In this next section we're going to just look at editing your profile. Uh, so go to this page, all I've done is clicked in the top right hand corner of any services window, uh, click on your name and that will bring you through to your profile. So here you can uh, choose to add or um, edit as many details as you like. So in the top left here you can um, upload or edit a, a thumbnail image uh, to use. Then uh, you've got your name and email address listed here come across to actions you can go edit profile and here you can choose to add some additional information a, a secondary email if you wish um, your mobile number uh, what site you attend um, or any of the other details below we don't require any of these details they're completely optional completely up to you uh, all we require is your email address and your name but um, feel free to add any further details hit save when you're done on the right hand side here where it says viewer that is what type of planning center account you have so viewers or scheduled viewers are generally for um, our team volunteers if you're a team leader and you might be responsible for editing plans or editing schedules you will probably be a, a, an editor but that's how you know you can view that here then on this page it gives you a bit of a an overview of what you've been up to in your serving so um, here it will give you how many confirmed you've got, unconfirmed or declined, um, a quick snapshot of any up, up, upcoming serving weeks. Then on the right hand side here you can um, edit your preferences, you can tell us how many uh, you'd like to serve per month, um, most people just leave that blank. And then in teams, uh, this just gives you a list of how many teams you're part of. And again, uh, per team you can um, edit that preference. Uh, the reason we say not uh, no need to really change that is um that's generally a conversation you're having with your team leader uh, most people are one in four some are doing slightly more but um it's best just to have that conversation direct with your team leader and then on the right hand side you've just got some communication tabs so this will just give you uh, messages that you've received or sent recently uh, the option to reset your password if you wish um, you can ignore this mobile phone notifications that's not something that we use In this next section we're going to look at probably the most important part of planning center and that is what's called plans. So on the top of your toolbar if you hit plans this will load up um, the plan section of services. Now your window might look slightly different it might not have quite so many plans or, or meetings or sites that will depend on your permissions. Um, but if you have served across multiple sites or if you're like a full editor which is usually team leaders you'll probably have the ability to view all the locations so um, you hit plans, you hit that back button, that will bring you back to the root menu and that will display all of our sites and um, all of our extra services. So navigate to your site, so we'll look at Bracknell today. And that will load up um, anywhere between the next kind of six weeks of meetings all the way up to kind of the next 20. Um, periodically we load in more, uh, so at some point probably in this example in early March we'll, we'll load from April up to the summer. Um, so you should always have a relatively um, long list of um, services to view. Now to uh, have a look at a meeting you can simply just click on it. Before I do so I'll just explain uh, what we can see here. On the left hand side we get um, an image which will display the series that the meeting is part of. So in this example you can see the next uh, five weeks are part of this Disciples Who Make Disciples series. Uh, obviously with the date of the Sunday. Uh, what serving week it is and who the preacher is for that week. So let's go ahead and click on this weekend and this will um, load up the service for the 30th of January 2022 and this window is kind of split into two. On the left hand side you can see all of our team information so starting with the production team you've got all the different roles. Um, green ticks mean they have confirmed to be serving this week 
uh, if they uh, are orange it means they haven't yet uh, confirmed and if they're red it means they've declined and then you can expand lower windows like our meeting communicator and also our band down here and then in the center section this is where you'll find all the actual details for this week's service so this top section shows us all the pre-meeting activity that goes on um, and the length of time it should take then uh, you've got the meeting itself um, in individual sections all the way through here and then uh, the uh, end of meeting item now um, some of these items will contain more details that you might want to read about so for example our info section if we click on that we'll get a window on the right hand side there's some notes here you can read in the description that might be useful uh, or in songs for example if you click on a song uh, on the right hand side you can access um, things like the details the lyrics um, and key charts um, so they're available for songs uh, you might also find like YouTube links uh, anything that could be useful uh, to know ahead of a Sunday so that's the end of this video I hope this gives you a bit of a taster uh, please explore the website download the app um, work your way around all the features and uh, if you've got any questions just contact your team leader